Your bravery is appreciated. When it comes to the order, I got your back. When it comes to your title, watch it. Scorpion was crafted from hellfire. You don't want to get burned. I already have. Sorry, our cameras were bugging there for a minute, but welcome back to IWA. I am Martin Huck, and alongside me, it's Ben Franklin. And we are starting this off with some great action. Thor versus Crash Bandicoot. Now, Crash Bandicoot, he's a relatively new signing in the IWA, announced to be on Orland at the draft show. And I, am, I have not seen a Crash match in call yet, so I'm very curious to see how he does. Counting down the seconds. How'd I do, Franklin? <laughs> Pretty good. Anyways, the style of Crash Bandicoot is really yet to be discovered as we have no clue really what he's capable of. Well, he's very capable of being hectic, I can say that for sure. But his hectic style versus Thor's power style, Thor, he's a relative veteran in IWA. He has been here since the beginning. He has been around a very long time. Do you see Crash pulling off the upside? He could. We never know what tricks he has up his sleeves, but Thor is no lightweight. Mm -hmm, definitely no lightweight. However, Thor recently has a bit of a damper in his record as he and Loki reunited once again to fight Project Altitude at the draft show, and they lost. Well, a loss on the record is never good. We'll just have to see if they can bounce back. Definitely. Maybe get some momentum going. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Here comes Thor. The bright lights and all. He, he and his cross pose. His T pose. T pose to assert dominance, as the kids say. <laughs> yes, exactly. These kids and their hip hop sayings these days. But Thor, he is looking for a fight as per usual. He wants the smoke. He's all for it. Mm-hmm. Matter of fact, he makes smoke with that hammer of his. The hammer of the axe. And he's looking to blow some smoke, crash his way, pound his fist into his face. Mm -hmm. But just like Thor, Crash is used to avoiding danger. He usually always comes out on top against his rival, Dr. Neocortex. Day usually does is Thor asserting dominance again on the middle rope. Something happened to us while we were gone, Franklin. Yes, yes, something did. Uh, we're pretty rusty on, you know, we have Jack and Jeff over at a mission commentating recently. When this match is about to start, we can get to what we do best and crash immediately out of the gate with the clothesline, sending Thor right on his back. Thor moved out of the way, though. That kick is Crash. <laughs> Don't know what kind of cutter that was, but... Amazing athleticism. He's already showing how his quick style works. Wasting no time. Knee to Thor. And Thor, he's vulnerable early. Oh, but Crash is feeling it, though. Taunting the crowd. Don't know if that's a wise move to do earlier on, though. You and... will see. As now, these two staring each other down, looking to clash again. But Thor, with a little jawbreaker, boot, punch, crashes on the ropes this time, and Thor... Irish whip. Oh, Samoan drop. Incredible Samoan drop. Thor right oh. now could use the oh. power in the... Oh. 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 oh, oh, ground and pound. Power bomb. And just like that, Crash Bandicoot has found himself at a disadvantage. Perennial underdog oh, no. and Thor delivering haymakers. Delivering the ground and pound as we're used to seeing here from Thor. The clubbing blows. Oh, now just wrenching at the neck. Going at it. Trying to tear it off, even. You want to weaken somebody, the neck is how you do it. The neck has the spine. Very important part of the body. Can't move, can't fight. Pretty much. Oh, but Crash, 
putting Thor in the corner now. Crash has had enough looking for a rebound. Oh. What a slam. Just the entirety of his face just crashing into the canvas. Using the air at its full advantage. Crash's full body weight crashing down on Thor is going for a cover. No, no go. Crash, he, I think he studied Thor before. No, it takes a lot to get rid of Thor. I'm not just showboating. I do not think that that is a wise idea when you have Thor in a corner. Exactly, getting pretty overconfident, telling Thor to bring it on. Keeps doing it. Just... <laughs> oh, he immediately paid for that. Front flip right into that slap the vicious right hand by thor now thor's thor's looking for some momentum some nice rights there exactly this is what he has to do if he wants to stun crash oh wait a minute nice tornado det thor giving some athleticism back throwing it right in the bandicoot face and a stop to the head looking to slow the pace down a bit maybe this is what he has to do Crash's style clearly overwhelmed Thor, and he could have taken it. And now Thor telling Crash to bring it, and that he will. And now Crash showboating, and Thor. Again, another right hand. These two very competitive. However, Thor knocks Crash down a peg. Oh, Crash oh, missing. Ooh, big boot by Thor. Now Crash the Bandicoot in major trouble yet again. And another stomp to the head. Thor. Kick to the gut. Going for a suplex, it looks like. Looking to hurt that back, but Crash Bandicoot hurting his head instead. Knee to the temple. Throwing him to the corner. Nice forearm smash there. Now Crash going up to the top. Taking it airborne. This is what I was talking about, Franklin. And an elbow drop to the back. Crash narrowly avoiding the ropes, and now Thor holding his back. That's not a good sign. One, One two, two. No go for Crash Bandicoot. See a little bit of worry, maybe frustration. I mean, I know Crash is kind of a novice here in IWA, but what he needs to know is you cannot get frustrated. Oh, small package roll up. Catch him by surprise. One. No go again. He was going for the quick pin attempt. Thor recovering. Oh, nice gut kick. Superman punch. That right there could have changed this whole match. And now Thor has him on sight. Oh, no, I'm picking him back up. Look at some. Oh, no. Crash firing back. Oh, but Thor with a counter. He is not having it, but Crash rolls Thor over onto his back. Nice fireman's carry. All this, this just to divert Thor, distract him. However, I don't know how long that may last. Samoan drop a second time. Now Thor picking him back up. Whipping him now into the corner. And Thor just gonna go on and continue Oh my goodness, vicious some, clothesline. It's terrifying clotheslines right there. Thor, he's just like, I know you made a counter to me, but you ain't gonna do it again. Going for the Superman punch. Could second time be the charm, but wait a minute, Crash Bandicoot, he reversed it. Crash, turnbuckle splash. And now Thor is on the receiving end. Control shifting once again. Oh my goodness. Pikey Thor face burst into the mat. That could very well do it. Hooking the leg. Two. Oh. No. No dub. Not yet. After what looked like some kind of reverse STO. Seconds away for Crash Bandicoot. And now. Thor getting back up now. I wonder what Crash is going to pull out next. Discus clothesline. Discus clothesline, going for the cover. One, two, no. again, nothing. In other words, he's definitely piling on Crash Bandicoot. 
He needs to find another big move in his arsenal to put away Thor. He has something else, something he hasn't tried yet. And going for a clothesline. Oh, an inverted atomic drop or so I thought. It's about to get worse. Oh. Thor, it kicked him off. Superman punch. That punch right there could have dashed all of Crash Bandicoot's dreams. He's going to go for the spear. And now he's vulnerable. Spear! That is the bow on the present. The cherry on the Sunday. But Thor, he is not done yet. Looking to put a nail in the coffin, just like he and Loki could not do against Project Altitude at the draft show. Spear! For a second time, rolling into the cover. One, two, two three. three. And Thor picks up a big win and maybe some more momentum heading into some more competition. More competition, Unforgiven, and so on. Amazing effort from Crash Bandicoot. He really put his, all of it out there. Really impressive debut being able to step toe-to-toe -to -toe with the big guy, Thor. But in the end, Thor is a big guy, and he gets another singles win on record. Thor been doing fairly well in singles competition recently. He beat Venom on IWA. Now we beat Crash Bandicoot. And we just got to see what is next for Thor. And also what's next for Crash Bandicoot. Impressive match from these two. I really like that. Thor is celebrating and rightfully so. Mm -hmm. Thor got a taste of this new guy. But now we have to divert our cameras backstage. See you in a minute. We are what you call an ice cold can of whoop ass. A Sharon pain problem. We ain't looking to loot around here and do nothing. You're damn right we're looking at a tango. See, that sounds more badass. Some of your sayings don't work much here in America. This is YouTube broadcasted worldwide. Mostly an American audience. You're mostly ignorant. I was just trying to help. Now we don't look that company together. You rub people the wrong way. We don't have time for this. We're up next. It's your ego out of your ass. Let's go show what we are. You're going to talk about ego. I should have eaten my coffee this morning. Ladies and gentlemen, that's right. We have a new debuting tag team and another debuting tag team. As Hobbs and Shaw. Just look at those two. Arguing, bickering always fighting do we think they can even work as a team maybe maybe not clearly if they're still together somehow there's a key to it probably success probably trying to one up each other mm -hmm. both of these two though physical specimens if they went one on one who who do you have winning i don't know that might be a something that will have happen later who knows you have hobbs power alice style you have Deckard Shaw's athletic sneaky style. It could make for a compelling match. Both covering up for each other's weaknesses, despite hating each other's guts. Mm -hmm. A very reluctant partnership, so to speak. As now, what are the odds of Jade and Jet and whoever that other guy is winning, Franklin? I don't think it's very high, considering you don't even know the other guy's name. <laughs> Well, that, that just happens sometimes. Because, you see, you can have local talent like them, and you have Hobbs and Shaw. Exactly. Both the one-two punch. Great on their own, but together, they're an absolute force of nature. And I can definitely see them being future tag team champions. And Hobbs just shoved him, but he's too scared to do anything. <laughs> we, we, I mean, you would be scared, too, if he came up to your desk and shoved you. I look at him. He's still just shoving him around. I feel bad for these guys. I mean, you'd have to. I mean, just look at the physical specimen. That is Luke Hobbs. Exactly. Look at it. Cobbs. And we don't even we don't even know what Decker can do. He may look like a guy in a one piece suit, but he probably has a three D strategy. Probably plays forty chess. Exactly. He's a grandmaster. And now Shaw telling Hobbs to go beat some ass. <laughs> A oh. close line. 
Down oh. goes Tom Grand Hobbs. Yep, he is already going in. He is already throwing competitors around. My God, another clothesline. Beating up Grant Tom like he's nothing. Oh my God. Just the brutality, just the strength. Exactly. And some athleticism too as he hits a float over DDT. Shaw must be getting a little jealous. Nonetheless, Hobbs and Shaw in control of this fight. And now Tom, he's just frozen in fear looking to strike, but he's much too late. Oh, into the barricade. And now Hobbs pounding away some more. I guarantee you those fists do not feel like pillows, more like blocks of concrete. Exactly. The guy wears that vest, too. That gets me curious over his background. No, throws him into the ring. Tom Grant, he, he's not moving. Oh, never mind, now he is. Another whip into the turnbuckle. Oh, oh, missing this time. Moved out of the way, but Hobbs caught his leg in another lariat. And down goes Grant again. And here comes Deckard Shaw, the other half of this team, going in immediately. Jaden Jett has not been tagged in for the whole match, but he's been thrown in twice. Oh, oh. To Tom Grant, though. Tom Grant with the dropkick. Capitalizing on the opportunity. Oh, man. And... Shaw just oh. unloading with the vest press. Mm -hmm. Oh, Tom Grant tagging and rolling out. Now Jaden Jett's going to get to have some fun. <laughs> <laughs> Interacting with the crowd. <laughs> Jaden Jett is just cowering in the corner. Look at him. Maybe trying to get away from that middle rope. Hop outside but <laughs> and grabbed and thrown back down to the mat. By Deckard Shaw. He certainly did not miss that. You know, Shaw looking to get Jaden up, taking a shot. Oh my. <laughs> the double axe handle in the back of the neck. <laughs> that was incredible silence. That was the, per the most perfectly timed silence I've seen, Franklin. And Shaw kicking Jaden down. At this point, it's become nearly obvious. But, oh. oh, not nearly. It's completely obvious. And now he's going to go over, maybe drag him to a corner. Exactly. Look to wrap this fight up just like that. Oh, the tag. Oh, oh, wait, white noise. Oh, assisted white noise. Don't know what they call that, but it's devastating. Usually you see the roles reversed in that. You usually see Hobbs jumping off. I mean, Shaw jumping off the rope and Hobbs carrying him. One, two. And that's a three. Just like that, Hobbs and Shaw come out on top. A very impressive debut for them. And that's a wrap, folks, for Tom Grant and Jaden Jett. Mm -hmm. You can tell Jaden Jett definitely not pleased to come back they i mean seeing what they were doing to tom grant and then got tagged in exactly i mean he really didn't have a choice but nonetheless congratulations to hobbs and shaw on their first win and i can see them doing great things Luigi and Fenwick, I had a bit of a malfunction. Strange Luigi Fenwick going head to head on a video after Orleans to help wrap up this premiere. But coming out is Rick Grimes, also drafted to Orleans, the draft show, looking for a win here. Question is if he can get it. As we don't really know who he is going to face. Not yet, though. They have the time wielding Rick Grimes. Exactly. The sheriff, the man, Rick Grimes. Though he can't use the baton in the ring, but... And his opponent is getting into the ring. Oh, my God. It's Kyle. What is he doing here? Franklin, explain this to me. Why is this guy in a ring? He's I, have, I have absolutely no clue. 
he's going to get himself killed and Rick and Kyle talking shit. <laughs> and now a best press. Man, that did not take long. Why are you going to let him in here? There's no way that he's a regular competitor. Oh. I mean, look at this. Rick's, Rick Grimes is just dismantling him. He, he's completely took control as he drives those elbows into the head of Kyle. And now, instead going to target the leg. Now he's trying to make sure he can't walk. David Grimes is targeting every part of the body. Trying to make sure there's no underlying strengths there as a Fujiwara armbar, but obviously too close to the ropes. A miracle for Kyle. I don't know how much he could have taken. Rick Grimes slamming in the other arm down. He is targeting all the limbs, though. His gameplay has completely changed. And now, Rick Grimes, he's got Rick him on Grimes. the ropes. Oh. And a whip, or so I thought, is he to knee, and another knee. He's looking for the kitchen sink, Russian leg sweep, connects. And we could be nearing the end already. Two squashes in a row, but we still have action tonight, as Master Chief will go on along with Kyle Crane in a match that is sure to be back and forth, as well as Ben defending the IWA Championship in an open challenge. And plus the triple threat still to come on the channel. Plugging as Rick is still going ham. Exactly. Kyle never had a chance. But Rick Grimes is definitely showing. Because he needs a win. And now, oh man. But goodbye with the passive sheriff. Driving Kyle into the barricade again. And now Rick Grimes... Maybe looking to do something else. Oh, yeah, he's looking to do something else. He's making an example of this kid. An example put the division on notice. In whichever title he goes for. Now, Rick Grimes, DDT. And now, this could be all she wrote for Kyle Bruplovsky. I don't even know how to pronounce his fucking last name. Mushinoku, Mishinoku Driver. Michinoku Driver. Cover here. One, two, three. And now someone who shouldn't have been in the ring at all has to leave the ring. Yep. And Rick Grimes gets a win. I mean, a free win for Rick Grimes. One to add to the books that he needs. And Kyle... Hold on. I'm getting a bit of word. This is a start to a new Rick Grimes. Since he wave, it's been a very bumpy road. I've been roughed up by Deathstroke, Zoom, Negan, all of them. Not reaching the heights I did. I'm done being a supporting player now. Now is the time. I will do better. To my Rick Grimes fans, stay tuned. Wait a minute. What, what the hell? Who is this? I recognize that music. Are we getting a quarterback? Oh my god. It's this guy. It's Tom Brady. Why is Tom Brady here? I have no clue. But he was one of the newly signed people to Warlin announced at the draft show. Tom Brady making his way down to the ring. Never in a million years did I think I was going to watch Rick Grimes from The Walking Dead take on Tom Brady from the NFL. Never did I think IWA would even sign Tom Brady. I'm curious to see what his case is. I mean, he does some ha have some athletic background, but now, oh yeah, he's calling for a mic. Here we go. Let's see what he has to say. Listen, Rick Grimes, as they like to call you, I've been in a lot of Super Bowls, made a lot of money, broken a lot of records, gained a lot of fans, and got myself a lot of stock. 
I'm the franchise player in the NFL because my actions out on the field spoke louder than any of my interviews. I don't give a shit about the interviews. I give a shit about my actions. And for you to come out here constantly talk about how you're going to do better, mate, you're probably going to fail again. You know, you want a challenge, Grimes? You want a challenge? Maybe you win a match next week. Kyle, he, he doesn't have credibility. Go face someone with credibility. And speaking of challenges, I should explain why I'm out here. You know, my little rant on to you comes first, of course. But I want to do more. I've pretty much already mastered football, done everything I can do. You know, I thought it'd be different here. But given you come out here and say what I've heard from many failed players in the NFL, I see that's not true because you're like, I'll do better. I'll do better. Then you fought the next season. All I see from you is a small town sheriff who can't go anymore. Unlike you who says you will do better, I have proof. Not you, me. I have the proof. I didn't start out all sunshine and rainbows, hugs and kisses, but I built my way up. And I won seven Super Bowls. Do you have that on your record? No. No, I don't think so. And of course, wherever I go, negativity will follow because people are jealous I'm successful. When if they tried to get up off the bench, out of the audience, and do what you and I do, they'd flop. You know, they'd go what you're going through, Ryan. You want to fight? You'll get one. Oh, if I want a win, I'll get one. You're not even that tough. Not that tough. Not that tough. Man, <laughs> you're entering a completely different sport. Getting sacked will be the least of your worries. Mister, I'm special because I can throw a ball once to tell me any different. There's more to me than throwing a ball. How dare you? I have passion. I have drive. The more I age, the better I am. I swap to an almost completely different team and still want a Super Bowl with them. Success doesn't come from one skill. That's why people call me the greatest of all time. And yes, I will prove it in the ring because clearly since I was successful in the Buccaneers, Give it, I boost everywhere I'm at. Yeah, definitely. I'm confident. All right, well, if you're so confident, let's go next episode. Let's go. Matter of fact, I still got more left in the tank. We can go right now, bucko. No, no, y you don't get it. You don't get it. People like you won't understand until you're in the situation. I trend more. The NFL gets more views than The Walking Dead. I trend more. When moved to the Bucks, the internet went crazy. They go crazy for everything I do. I got drunk off my ass, thrown off a yacht, and everyone was still tweeting about it. Given how more people give a damn about me than they ever did you, I'll make the terms and promote it so more people can watch Tom Brady's school Rick Grimes. Get to the point already. God damn. The pay-per-view Grimes. The pay-per-view we will trend so much. Controversy creates cash. We will sell tickets and print more money when I stand over you. Oh, you're hot, huh? Take a swing, hot shot. Take a swing. Come on. Oh, yeah, you want to swing on that? Yeah, come on. Fuck. Oh, my Lord. Rick Grimes is swinging on Tom Brady. I. Oh, my God. <laughs> He said take a swing, but Rick is giving all the shots, and Tom Brady outside. And the war of words has turned into a brawl. Exactly, and now it's up to Tom to make the next move. And the ref counting, and Tom, he's, oh, he's walking up. You know, maybe Grimes was right when he said Tom was entering a completely different sport. Well, it is completely different than the NFL, that's for sure. And if Tom wants respect, he's gonna earn it. What is going on, guys? It's Ron, the interviewer. And today, as you know, at the draft show, well, that's a different tense. But we signed six, seven new people to the hardcore division, and now you will get to hear from them in these short messages.
I don't just need a gun to lay waste to everybody. If this division wants me, it has me. There's one thing I've learned in life. No matter how hard you try, you can't escape your past. But still, fuck the past. I'm here to create a new future. I have seven left in the chamber. So step into a single file line, please. Let me tell you something, bro. I made my money on Twitch. I got publicity with The Undertaker, bro. The Undertaker. If that ain't hardcore, I don't know what the hell is. And that hardcore title is come to Dr. Disrespect. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. As you see, you heard from the Hardcore Division. New blood for a newer division. But coming up next, I'm very curious. It's it's another one of our signee versus signee mashups. As Master Chief goes head-to-head -head with Kyle Crane. And in comes Chi- Oh, the lights. The lights have went out. I can't even reach my sprite. I can't even read these lines. Just kidding. We hey. don't have those. <laughs> oh. So we get some smoke coming from this stage. And right there, out emerges the Master Chief. Mm -hmm. Master Chief, he, he has a kick-ass entrance. I'm not even going to lie. But look at him. Look at this hoss of a man. He is built... He is tall, and he looks confident. That is not a good combination for one of your opponents to have. No, it most certainly is not. But, I mean, we can look on the Master Chief's track record and see how many invasions he's fought off, how many bad guys he's defeated. Mm -hmm. How much he can go. A never-say-die kind of attitude. Mm-hmm. He never says die because he never can die. Quite literally the representation of man literally too angry to die. Oh, yeah. But now Master Chief, he's going to take all of that rage. He's going to put it right onto Kyle Crane. So we get some pyrotechnics. Mm-hmm. Master Chief looking towards a good future here. As now we await our next entrant. Now, Franklin, you know a lot more about Kyle Crane than I do. So I would like you to go ahead, give me his background, be as detailed as you want, and what do you think is going to help him beat Master Chief? We see Kyle Crane was a special operative the guy you sent in to do the dirty work you don't want anyone to find out about and so during the epidemic of the haran virus it was his duty to locate a file and find a cure for the virus being dropped down into the city of haran which was manifested with tons of zombies isn't exactly a safe haven so Kyle Crane having to master parkour and learn a whole bunch of different things like, you know, drop kicking zombies off of roofs to survive. Uh-huh. And a lot of durability needed and resourcefulness to create tools to help him survive. So I think maybe some crafty resourcefulness and of course the power of that drop kick will help him out tonight. Exactly. We're watching an immovable force meet an unstoppable object. <laughs> Is now throwing a kick and a punch. Master Chief though with a counter. A spinning soul kick. Jesus, and we thought his power would help him. Master Chief is showing he's kind of athletic. Oh, missing there. <laughs> we thought Crane was going to go to work. But right oh. to the nose, and we thought Chief was going to land a kick, but these two right now are battling for control. Oh, wait oh, a minute. Oh, got red suplex by the Chief. Hey, Chief, he needs to stay on Kyle Crane if what you're saying about his craftiness and his grit is true. And that's, it looks like that's what he's going to do. Nice chop. The basement drop kick. 
No, I think Chief has firmly established control pretty early into the match. What the oh. hell? Oh my god, the Chief with the hell? flips. Didn't expect to see that out of Master Chief. Pulling out all of the stops. Oh, a gigantic spinning kick to the head. That's like if Kyle went to fight a zombie and it just did a roundhouse kick to him. And now he's got a chin lock in. Looking to slow it down, maybe. Change the pace, surprise him a bit. Keeping Kyle perfectly grounded. Oh. And a nice clubbing blow. But Crane, Clubbing he's recovering. Thing. He's getting up. An elbow two to the gut. Crane seems very resilient. Whipping Chief by the ropes. And a clothesline, and Chief is down. Oh, just slamming his head into the canvas. Just the brutality that Kyle Crane can tap into. Exactly. And now Crane, I think he may take control here. And now, looking to drag the Chief somewhere. Nonetheless, he has bad intentions. And now Crane, going to run at the Chief in another area. Chief stepped off. But right into something again. And these two may look at the take outside. Crane with the fake out. Chief. That's the resourcefulness I was talking about earlier. Psyching him out. Tricking him. And now Crane, he's getting pumped up. And the Chief, he is not happy. Oh, oh. my God. And a kip up right after. Let me tell you. When you look at a guy like Chief, you don't expect this type of stuff. No, you most certainly do not. And now, got him up. And a fireman's carry. Oh, my God. Death Valley driver. One. Two. two. Crane. Powers out. Some resiliency there by Crane. Now, the chief looking to pick him up. Maybe try and finish the match. Given out Crane rebuttal, he still has work to do. Oh, oh, he missed. Drop toehold into the ropes. His neck must not have felt good on those ropes at all. You know how dangerous ropes can be. A crane with the drop kick. The power in the drop kick, like I was talking about earlier. Looking for the cover. One, two, no. Oh, Master Chief with a kick out. Absolutely not enough. And now Crane, he needs to go back to the drawing board. Chief is resilient, and a, drop, and a drop kick won't do it. Oh, missing the kick again. Crane now with him up on the... Oh, my oh. God. Shooting him at the ropes, and he lands neck first. But Crane, with the bulldog, he is not done. Giving everything Chief gave to him right back. now just stomping away lining up his shot and a kick to the chest ground and pound is pretty smart for crane he does do a lot of brawling a nice just smash to the back and looking to do it again he is going on a rampage he is going through and doing whatever it takes now Picking the chief up once again. The drop kick. Crane looking a little tired. Maybe we're wearing tears getting to him as he goes for the cover. One, two. No. Oh, still not enough to put away Master Chief. Crane getting a bit frustrated. Usually his drop kicks is one of the main factors that do the job. But Crane can't out worry now. Crane having him up and once again with that maneuver drop the slam Death Valley drop Crane looking for the cover can he put away the chief two no and now that is where it's starting to get the crane he is actually starting to get pissed off and he's used his ace in the hole and it has not worked he can always find his new ace in the hole, and Crane, he is going hog wild on the Chief.
He is stomping away. No. Oh, no. Mr. Noble dropped. But his frustration could have cost him. Master Chief. Chief Brain, brain Buster. Buster. And floating over into the cover. One. Two. No. no. Oh. Crane. Kyle Crane. Crane was still moving. Technically, he powered out of it, but now Master Chief. He needs, he's the one that needs to find what to do next. Here we go again. Brain Buster a second time. Oh, In the ropes. Oh, foot by the ropes. Great in-ring awareness there from Crane. But Chief, he's looking to finish the job. As Crane still dazed and confused from the absolute flurry. Getting knocked down to by a simple shove. Oh, going again. No! Crane! Crane! He could take up the opportunity! This could be his time! Oh, clothesline. Another clothesline. Oh, ducking. And oh, no! Missing! And Chief! Kick him in the gut! Non-stop! To the face! He's going absolutely ham in the corner. <laughs> Eight kicks! Oh, uh, and now a taunt. Like a martyr telling him to come and get some. And now, once again, up on his shoulders. Death Valley Driver. Now this might as well be it. Oh, wait a minute. End of days. Crane's busted open. Two. Three. And a debut win for Master Chief with the end of days. Mm -hmm. Something new in his repertoire after he saw that the brain busters weren't working. And Crane, he should have found something new as well. Hopefully he can do that the next time he goes to fight. But Master Chief really impressive throughout this match. Some good tact and resilience. Yes, and we can't take anything away from Kyle Crane either. He fought hard until the end. Gave everything he got, but in the end, he met his end of days. With a little bit of blood. Nonetheless, we're, we're, we're taking you to IWA Subscribers Champion, Bruno. Let's just get straight to my point. Besides my inevitable challenge, the world James has a good try and absolution, which, by the way, Jimmy, I'll get to you, I'll get to you later. Don't worry. I have no one to defend my subscribers' championship against, which leads to tonight's number one contendership match for our first challenge of here at IWA. So let's get to it. From the order I'm raging in, I'm going from least experience to most experience. First, the least experience I have with is Luigi, our favorite paisano. Now, for Luigi, I feel really terrible for him. No, and no, it's not because of him being outshined by his brother Mario, no. But because people have this mindset of him turning heel on Mario or turning evil and try to get him popularity since Mario tends to get more favoritism. But I feel like if Luigi was the heel while Mario remained the face at the end of all this, I feel like Mario's going to be in the same position as Luigi was. But worse, and he'll be forgotten in the run. And that doesn't make Mario look good either, does it? And I heard that in one of the call, and some some colleagues that Luigi was a heel were colleagues like No DQ or UWO or RK Wrestling and I think TWA for that matter. I don't know. But from what I've heard, some have taken No DQ's Luigi persona and just rather go on with it rather than adding anything new. It really doesn't matter. Listen, at the end of the day, Despite how fan animation videos make him look bad, like Dorothy, for example, it really doesn't matter if Luigi's player two or if he could jump up higher than Mario. This doesn't matter. The fact is, I'd rather have Luigi earn his popularity next to Mario. That way, these two look good together. These two have done so much in not just all, 
but in the entire video game world. They've been around since, I think, almost 80s to 90s. That's a long time. So Luigi, do good. That's all I'm asking. Got it? Okay. And now to the second one. On to the most experience I have with, and by most, I mean one encounter. And the second one is good old Wade Fennick. Now, the last fight I had with him didn't end up so well. I really had him with a rope spot, and he prevailed. But you want to know the aftermath between us both? You want to know what happened to us since our last encounter? For me, I already made myself. I got back on my feet, while you, Wade, you, Wade, stayed the same. Sure, you got a new theme. Sure, you got the TV championship on your shoulder. But you still have the same shitty attitude from the start. And on top of that, you even got a talk show that no one even knows. And you're and and, mo- and most importantly, you're not even on the same brand as me. I'm on Ireland, while you are on a mission. But that's fine. That's okay. If you somehow manage to pull this one off, I'm going to finish. I'll finish what we started in that first encounter. I will. And the best part about this is, I get to slap your face in. Especially with that douchey facial hair and beard that you have. And I don't like Kevin. They cut the pieces. Moving on from him, now to the final piece of the puzzle. That is Dr. Stephen Strange. Now, granted, the last time we fought, which was one match, by the way, and unlike Wade, who pinned me, I lost to Dr. Strange by a roll now, I won't go on a tirade on how I was cheating and blah, 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 etc. That would just make me look like wages and, most importantly, unintentionally unsympathetic. But all I will say is this. No offense to Luigi, or pandemic, but I hope you win this match, Steven. I just want to I just want to make that, that match right. As I didn't put up my best, I didn't feel like I put up my best effort in the last match we had. And now that I've got some some experience in, I feel like I could take you properly this time. You see, Stephen. You, you see, they, you like to think of possible outcomes for yourself, like Infinity War. Well, you're not the only one. I've thought of several possible outcomes on how our match will go if you win. How many? Nine, four, one. And uh, what are the ones that you win? Zero. They all end with me standing on top of you as I lay my championship high. And that's all I have to say. Good luck, gentlemen. And may the best man win. You thought, you actually thought you could pull a quick one on us. The kings of the jungle. The K.O.T.J. <laughs> It'll end differently this time. Howie. Hey, Howie. Take care of the scope, why don't you? We are back. It was a minute. We got our restrooms. We got our concessions. Now it's time for the main event of this video. It is the IWA World Championship Open Challenge. Ben, wasting no time. He didn't win the number one contenders match, but he still went and won the title nonetheless. Looking to prove himself. The Lionheart. Yes, the grit, the heart, the passion, the courage to rise up and face challenges. And right now, it's an open one. And he is wasting little time. He doesn't care about the theatrics. He's just here to fight. And show why he is going to carry the Connell family mantle. As he stated, anyone that's going to step up, they're going to get a kick in the teeth. And their lights are going to flicker out. And the newfound passion that we've seen from Connell here recently. Now, this this uh, is a new sign at IWA, I believe, from the word I got. And wait a minute. Hold on a second. Wait a minute. You can't have the Joker without Batman. The Batman making an impressive debut just by appearing. 
He has such an aura around him. Batman is here. And Batman obviously needs no introductions. Mm -hmm. Protector of Gotham City, he's world famous. And now, it's possible. It's possible, Franklin. We could go from one DC champion immediately to the other. We could. We could. Because the Batman is very resilient, resourceful. And he's not afraid to break a few bones to get what he needs. Exactly. He's chaotic, in a way. However, he always loves the law. So really, that's just a contradicting statement. As he slowly, maybe trying to intimidate Connell here, makes his way up to the ring. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, I just need to say this. The Dark Knight has risen. He is here to whip some ass and take the IWA championship from Ben Connell. And now, looking out at the crowd, and then back towards Connell. Now Connell's on the outside. So the Batman steps in, takes his corner, and we get ready for the main event. Mm -hmm. This is bound to be an amazing one. The fans pumped. Mm -hmm. I'm pumped. The following contest is for the IWA World Championship. Introducing first, the challenger from Arkham City. The Dark Knight, the protector of Gotham, the Batman. And introducing the champion from Indianapolis, Indiana, the Lionheart, the carrier of the Connell Family Mental IBA World Champion, Ben Connell. And there we see, as you know, with the open challenges, anything can happen. So Ben could be handing off his title right there to Batman in his first defense. And as we see, throwing away the old design and showing us a new IWA World Championship design. Mm -hmm. I gotta say, I like the gold. Well, I must say that I must like it too as we get this match started. Black and gold perfectly represent Batman, though, immediately trying something. Over right Ben, he is not going to fall for it. Oh, Ben! Oh, elbow. Showing a bit of power. Ben has wrestled Batman against the ropes. And the respect of the pull-off. And now, another collar and elbow. As we get Batman with the advantage on the arm. And now Batman giving Ben a bit of a taste of his own medicine. Yeah, circling back with the hammer lock. And now Ben with the hammer lock. Batman. Throwing over now in a Fujiwara armbar. Oh, that damage to the arm. Ben may need it. And now Batman. You do oh. not want to showboat in front of our champion. It's, oh, <laughs> well, Batman showboating doesn't matter anyway, as he has the advantage now, and he's going to he's going to work. Clubbing him with the boot and then those stomps. Not a great combo. He's just kicking Ben while he's down. A smart strategy. You know, when Ben just be your biggest rival. Incredible athleticism from Batman. Just got to say that. And now another Superman punch. Batman is just throwing all types of everything out here. Yeah, Batman making, uh, taking Ben down look easy. As Ben counting with a jawbreaker. Nice gut forearm. And now whipping him off the ropes and a nice single leg knee strike there and now ben looking to take some control back there's the ground and pound the aggressiveness that we've seen here of late trying to methodically break down the dark knight he has the other leg scissors on the head with some elbows too <laughs> there we go as usual telling him to suck it 
Oh, missing whatever he was going for there, and Batman counters with a Meteora. Looking for that cover. What? No. No dice. And again, Batman. No dice once again. Oh, now he's just playing with him, just kicking him in the head. Ben may have been off more as he can chew. This match has almost been all Batman. Yeah, Batman, like I said before, making, uh, taking down Ben, making it look easy. It's just slamming his head into the mat. And again. Oh, Ben with an elbow to the gut. Oh, Ooh. Batman does the roundhouse kick. Wait a minute, Batman slams him down on the back. The Renagi looking for the cover. One, two, no. Ben kicks out. Batman, though, absolutely dominating. If you let the Dark Knight is not someone to play around with. Ben needs to know if he's going to be the top champion. He needs to face people on that level, and I assure you, Batman is definitely on that level. As oh my Ben, God, those forearms coming back with strikes now. His striking is most certainly one of his wheelhouses. Cannonball. Tell him to suck it again. Roundhouse kick. No punches being pulled by these two. But alas, they're too close to the ropes. And now maybe thinking of what to do next. Maybe a super kick. Maybe something else. Oh. A slap. The disrespect. Oh, now Ben up against the ropes. Oh, oh. Batman, suicide spear. And the crowd hyped up. Batman again. My oh my. Now, picking him up. Maybe looking to do some more damage. Looking to drive him back first into the barricade. Could you imagine? You know, the Joker's definitely not done with the IWA Championship. Could you imagine if Batman and Joker fight for the world title? The, the amount of history between these two? That would be a heated rivalry as Batman hits a clothesline off. But we cannot count Ben out of the match yet. Indeed, we cannot. He did win for a reason. The Joker threw everything he had at him, and Ben still got out of it. But at the same time, so is Bruce Wayne. And Batman! We, we don't talk about his identity. Oh, but Batman. Ben has taken an absolute beating in this match. And now, going for a cover here. One. Two. No. And Ben still hanging in there. Batman, he is getting frustrated. No matter what he throws at Ben, he keeps getting out of it. Looking for it again, but wait a minute, Ben. Ben, no. Reversing into another DDT of his own and even hurting the arm in the process. Oh. Gut kick. A slap. Again. No, Ben. Wait. He's taking him up to the top rope. He looked the stun, Batman, but now we're in Ben's wheelhouse. Team looking oh, over here. Nice punch there. Wait a minute. Not a superplex. A Spanish fly. If you wanted to do damage to Batman, that is exactly how you do it. One, two, no. Batman kicks out. Now it's all about what does Ben have to do next. Picking him up. Oh, we've seen this before. The knee strikes incoming. Knees, Batman. That knee was so hard, he got rolled onto his back. He is striking with the passion. And now, rolling him for the cover here. One, two, no. Oh. Ben, he ain't done toying around with them yet. He knows he's got more. Much, much more. 
Middle rope. Off. Missing a 6.30. And wait a minute, Batman. Oh, and a punch. Oh. What a punch. Looking for the cover. One, we can have a new champion. Two. No. The resiliency. The never say die. I won't quit. I mean, if this keeps going on, Batman may have to make him quit. However, then he did get his offense in. However, he needs to find an opportunity for more. Batman with the jumping clothesline. And now, Batman looking to maybe do something big. You're a Looking for the cover. Could we have a new champion? One, two, no. Another kick out. I wouldn't be surprised if Batman's about to show genuine, genuine viciousness once again. Because time after time after Ben's kicked out, Batman just looked angrier and angrier. Oh, oh, Ben caught his leg. Ben caught his leg. Super kick. Ben falling onto him. This is the move that put out One, the Joker. Two. No. Batman with a kick out. And now, Ben. Ben's got to think, what's, what's he got left? Oh. Roundhouse kick. Picking him back up. Wait, roll through Boston Crab. Oh, my God. Batman is nowhere to go. Could we actually see Batman tap out? Ben's got it locked. Just painfully arcing the back. And Ben lets it go. Batman doesn't tend to quit either, and that has to have worn him down enough. Another super kick. And Ben, though, he's not done. I mean, oh, drag him to the center of the ring. There we go. There we go. There's the cover. One, two, three. And a successful championship defense for Ben Connell. But not without blood, sweat, and tears as Batman. He really challenged him, I'm telling you. Batman had multiple opportunities where he almost won, but Ben kept fighting. So props to Batman for a good effort. But in the end, Ben perseveres. Ben, absolutely overjoyed. He may not look he may look stoic. We know what it's like on the inside. That right there, that is Orleans champion. Yes, taking it to the top rope, celebrating. Mm -hmm. He's proud. He's had his first successful title defense. And uh, what's going on here? Looking at Batman, maybe an acknowledgement. A good fight. Oh, ben, I wouldn't be surprised if he wants to do it again. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's the Joker speaking up. And they're going at it. And Ben, he ain't having that shit. The best press. The Joker's still bitter after his loss at the draft show. And now Ben having the upper hand, taking it to him. Yes, the striking advantage. Whipping him all around. With the Joker with a counter. Oh, wait a minute. This is the, oh, the page turner. And now going face first on that ramp that has to, oh, and he hits him with his own belt. The new belt, the symbolism of a new legacy. And now Joker looking to finish up the killing joke. Landing right above his new title belt. Now, the Joker looking at his new prey, at his next victim. Looking to regain that championship back. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Man. Franklin. Franklin. There's no way. It's Rey Mysterio. Rey Mysterio's back. 
Rey Mysterio is back in IWA. We haven't seen him since the Joker spiked his neck at Heat Wave. He still owned a case, damn it. The crowd is going wild. We are going wild. And you know who else is going wild in the head? Ben Cano as he's going face to face with one of his childhood favorites. Rey Mysterio is back. Oh, what an exciting ending. And what an episode. We will see you in the next video. I'm Huck. And I'm Franklin. We will see you later. So, thank you for watching Orland. However, the content is not done yet. As there is a post Orland exclusive on Wattpad to help set the stage for episode 2. As well, prepare for an upcoming video. Strange, Fenwick, Luigi, as you guys know. And plus, that won't be the only content today as later... There is going to be a Road to a Mission featuring four matches in their Global Championship Tournament. Nonetheless, that is pretty much all, and I can't wait for you guys to see Episode 2.